Well, everyone, it is Nancy Taylor here, and you are catching number one of 10 videos on ESL teaching strategies. So number one is TPR. We start with TPR because it is very important when teaching a second language, and especially when you're working with children. What is TPR? Total physical response. It is the combination of movement and language to enhance language acquisition. It is coming from both the teacher and the student. It is not just one-sided with the teacher doing actions and the student watching. It is double-sided. The student is connecting actions to language and therefore retaining it much better than if they were to do it without the movement. TPR taps into all three of your learners. I know there's more learners, but the three we focus on, visual, your kinesthetic, and then the last one is audio, so you're connecting it to the actual language. So we're, we're targeting all three of those kind of learners. In these video series, the two focuses, what you always wanna focus on, number one is teaching the objectives, focusing on those rather than all this extra fluff and things. Keep it simple, teach the objectives well. You don't wanna cover a broad spectrum of things and just kinda of graze the surface. Teach them well. And the second thing is teach to the student's understanding. If the student is not understanding because you have this blueprint that you feel like you have to follow, like the teacher directions that you're given or the lesson plan that you're given, then your student could be very frustrated or not say anything or be very confused on the other side of the lens, on the camera or in the classroom. So be sure that you teach to the student you adjust your instruction to this specific student, which is very great when teaching for VIP Kid because it is one-on-one. -on -one. We do also have some group classes and this whole brain teaching tactic, if you've heard of whole brain teaching, very similar to TPR. Why do we teach it? Number two, why? To model why we use TPR, I have created my own language. You're welcome. <laughs> You guys are going to die. So I am going to be showing you what it feels like to be hearing a new language. And today, it is Nancy's language. Ta-da! Bebop. La tigra say Nancy. Humbug say floof tigra. Did you catch that? Did you get what I said? Let's do it again. Bebop. La tigra say Nancy. Humbug say floof tigra. Let's put in some TPR, and this is instructional TPR. All right, bebop. La tigra say Nancy. Nancy. Good. Humbug say floof tigra. La tigra say Ava. Good job, high five. Now you know exactly what I said because I was using instructional TPR. Number three, how do we use TPR? There's two types of them. Number one, instructional TPR. These are when I'm giving commands. Stand up, sit down. If I say, what is your name? I'm using actions movement to go with instruction, okay? That's the first type of TPR. The student is not expected to repeat those. One I use a lot with my beginner students, I say you repeat, tiger. Good job, I don't expect them to do this, a lot of them do. <laughs> but this is just an action instead of me saying, can you repeat or will you say, I just point to my chin and say one word. Then we're keeping our language 50-50. Capiche? Okay. The second type is educational or content. So these are your vocabulary words. These are the content that you are teaching. And I expect my student to do these actions. So if I'm teaching tiger, tiger. Good job. Notice how I got my student to do it as well. 
I didn't just say tiger and have them repeat the audio. I said tiger and then I wanted them to do the same action. And they'll get it. You have to be consistent and persistent. Yes. <laughs> Those are my tips for TPR. Very simple to the point. Here's an example inside the classroom. Let's go. Fast. Slow. Slow. Fast. 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 Slow. My name is Teacher Nancy. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Molly, how old are you? Um, top 13 years old. 13 years old? Are you in 7th or 8th grade? 7th grade. 7th, I see. Do you have many teachers? Many? Yes. Thanks for joining me for video number one on TPR. Again, I have created these videos in case you got feedback that was specific in an area, or perhaps you wanted to fine tune your skills in teaching ESL and you wanted to do it step by step. These short videos are a lot easier to eat than the whole elephant. So we'll take bites at a time. If you guys are not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you join. I do post one video a week for teaching English and I have other videos on this channel as well that you can partake of. Elephant style. <laughs> Just kidding. You can totally veg watch my YouTube, it's fine. <laughs> What's it called? Veg watch? I don't know. I don't know what it's called. Retain watch? Continue watching? Netflix watch? Is it called veg watch? What's it called? When you watch like Netflix after Netflix after Netflix, what is the term I'm looking for? Help me. Okay, bye.